Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss how to design a Turing machine to accept all the strings which are palindromes. Over the alphabet, sigma is equal to AB. First, we will see what are palindromes. Palindromes are the sequence of characters or numbers which reads the same from backward as from forward. For example, the word madam. If you read it from right, it is same as if you read it from left. Another example is word level. If you read it from right, it is same as if you read it from left. That is L-E-V-E-L, -E -E level. Got it? Now considering only A and B in the alphabet sigma, we will see some examples of odd length palindromes and even length palindromes, right? The even length palindromes are of the form WWR, that is, the symbols in the second half sequence of the string are in the reverse order of the sequence in the first half of the string. For example, AAB, BAA. Here, AAB is W and BAA is the reverse of W, that is, WR. Now, in odd length palindromes, we have strings of the form WAWR or WBWR. One example of WAWR is ABBABBA. Here ABB is W and BBA is WR. And in the middle we are having symbol A, which makes the length of this palindrome odd. Similarly, we can take one example of WBWR. In this, we are having symbol B in the middle, which makes the length of the palindrome odd. Keep in mind that we are having only two symbols A and B in the alphabet sigma. That's why in the middle we can have either A or B only. Right? Let us move forward and see what are the properties of palindrome which we will use while designing the Turing machine for it. First property is, in all the palindromes, first and last symbol are same. Second and second last symbol are same. Third and third last symbol are same and so on. Second property is, the smallest string of even length palindrome is epsilon. That is the null string having length zero, which makes it even. The smallest string of odd length palindrome in this example is either A or B, that is of length 1, which makes it odd. Third property is, if we delete first and last symbol of even length palindrome, then the remaining string is also an even length palindrome. But if we keep on deleting in this manner, in even length palindrome, at the end, we will be left only with the epsilon, that is the null string. Similarly, if we delete first and last symbol of odd length palindrome, then the remaining string is also an odd length palindrome. But if we keep on deleting in this manner in odd length palindrome, at the end, we will be left only with one symbol, either A or B. Let us see this property in detail which is the base for designing this Turing machine. I have taken the same example here. Through these examples, we will try to find the criteria on the basis of which Turing machine will decide whether to accept this string or reject this string, right? First, we will see for even length palindromes. On the left side and right side of the string, we are having blank symbols. Turing machine will match the first and last symbol of the string and if they do not match, the Turing machine will immediately reject the string because it violates the property of palindromes. But in this case, first and last symbol do match. So Turing machine will delete first and last symbol of the string and replace it with black blank symbols. The remaining new string is also an even length palindrome. Again, on new string, 
Turing machine will match the first and last symbol of the string and if they do not match Turing machine will immediately reject the string but in this case first and last symbol do match so Turing machine will delete the first and last symbol of the string and replace it with blank symbol. The remaining new string is also an even length palindrome. And if Turing machine keep on doing this iteratively on every new even length palindrome we get then at the end Turing machine will be left only with blank symbols which represents the null string that is the smallest even length palindrome and in that case Turing machine should accept this string note this point now let us see for odd length palindromes for WAWR Turing machine will work exactly the same as we discussed for even length palindrome the only difference is at the end we will be left with only one symbol that is A. In that case Turing machine will be able to delete only the first symbol but will, but will not find its partner to match and delete. Instead immediately after first symbol Turing machine will find the blank symbol and if this is the case Turing machine will understand that this is an odd palindrome so Turing machine will accept this string. Same is the case with WBWR. While iterating, the last odd length palindrome left is of length 1 that is symbol B. And after deleting this first B of remaining string, if Turing machine immediately finds the blank symbol, Turing machine will understand that this is an odd palindrome. So Turing machine will accept this string. Please remember this criteria for accepting the odd length palindrome. Let us see the transition diagram for this Turing machine. We start with the initial state Q0. First we will handle the smallest palindromes. For even length palindrome, smallest string is epsilon, which means Q0 will read the blank symbol. In this case, Turing machine will neither move left nor move right changes its state to the final state that is Q8. Now for the smallest string of odd length palindromes which can be either A or B on reading A Q0 will replace the A with the blank symbol changes its state to Q1. On reading B Q0 will replace the B with the blank symbol changes its state to Q2. Now you might be wondering why we are using two different states on reading a we are going to q1 on reading b we are going to q2 this is because turing machine needs to remember what was the starting symbol which was deleted and replaced with blank symbol and to remember something turing machine changes its state right state q1 means the starting symbol was a state q2 means the starting symbol was b now immediately after reading first symbol if the machine reads a blank symbol Turing machine will understand that this was the smallest string of odd length palindrome so Turing machine will accept this string by changing its state from Q1 to Q8 which is the final state without making any move. Similarly if Q2 reads, Q2 reads a blank symbol machine will change its state from Q2 to Q8 without making any move. Now before I complete this transition diagram I will take an example to show the working of Turing machine. Here the state Q0 is pointing to symbol A. It will replace the symbol A with the blank symbol changes its state to Q1 to remember that the first symbol was A. Now as discussed in the last slide state q1 will check whether the next symbol is blank symbol or not or any other symbol like a or b but in this case the next symbol is not blank symbol so now we have to start the iteration to reach to the last symbol and if it is the same as the first symbol then we have to delete it the task to reach the last symbol is assigned to the state q3 
So Q3 will skip all A's and B's in between, move towards the right without changing the state. And as soon as Q3 reaches the blank symbol, Q3 will become aware that it has came one step further. So it takes a left move and changes its state to Q5. Now Q5 is on the last symbol of this string. Notice one important point that for better understanding, I have colored the states Q1, Q3 and Q5 with blue color. This is because they hold the same information. They all know that the first symbol deleted was symbol A. So Q5 will delete the last symbol only when the last symbol matches to the first symbol or you can say only when the last symbol is symbol A. So state Q5 on reading A will replace it with blank symbol, takes a left move and changes its state to Q7. Responsibility of Q7 is to move towards the left skipping all the symbols in between to reach to the leftmost symbol in the remaining string. And as soon as Q7 reaches the blank symbol, Q7 will become aware that it has came one step further. So it takes a right move and changes its state to Q0. Okay. Now notice that the starting state was Q0 and now again the machine is on state Q0 which means that one iteration is complete. That is, we have deleted the first and last symbol because they match. And the remaining string is BAB. We should also be a palindrome according to the properties of palindrome. But we have to verify this using Turing machine. So we start the next iteration. Q0 will read the first symbol of the remaining string, replace it with blank symbol and move towards the right. But this time it changes its state to Q2 because the first symbol of remaining string was B. Now as discussed in the last slide, state Q2 will check whether the next symbol is blank symbol or any other symbol like A or B. But in this case, the next symbol is not a blank symbol. So now we have to start the iteration to reach to the last symbol of the remaining string and if it is same as the first symbol then we have to delete it. The task to reach to the last symbol is assigned to the state Q4. So Q4 will skip all A's and B's in between and move towards the right without changing the state. And as soon as the Q4 reaches the blank symbol, Q4 will become aware that it has came one step further. So it takes a left move, changes its state to Q6. Now notice one important point here that for better understanding I have colored the states Q2, Q4 and Q6 with green color. This is because they hold the same information. They all know that the first symbol deleted was the symbol B in the remaining string. So Q6 will delete the last symbol only when it matches to the first symbol of the remaining string that is a Q6 will delete only when the last symbol is symbol B. So Q state Q6 on reading B will replace it with blank symbol, takes a left move and changes its state to Q7. The responsibility of Q7 is to move left, skipping all the symbols in between and reach to the leftmost symbol of the remaining string. And as soon as the Q7 reaches the blank symbol, Q7 will become aware that it has came one step further. So it takes a right move and changes its state to Q0. So in this way, the second iteration is also complete. Okay. Let us start the next iteration. Q0 is pointing to symbol A, which is the only symbol left. It will replace the symbol A with the blank symbol and changes its state to Q1 to remember that the first symbol deleted is symbol A in the remaining string. Now as discussed in the last slide, Q1 will check whether the next symbol is blank symbol or not. And yes, in this case, the next symbol is blank symbol. Turing machine will understand that this is an odd palindrome and the remaining string in the last iteration was of length one, that is the only symbol A. 
so the turing machine will accept this string and without making any left or right move changes its state to final state that is q8 right now let us complete the transition diagram from state q1 instead of blank symbol if it reads at least one symbol which can be from either a or b it means we have to continue the iteration and reach to the last symbol and delete it if it matches with the first symbol the responsibility to reach to the last symbol is assigned to the state q3 so q3 will skip all the symbols that is skip all a's and b's in between move towards the right without changing the state and as soon as q3 reaches the blank symbol q3 will become aware that it has came one step further so it takes a left move and changes its state to q5 q5 will delete the last symbol only when the last symbol is a that is when it matches with the first symbol so q5 on reading a will replace it with blank symbol takes a left move and changes its state to q7 the responsibility of q7 is to move towards the left skipping all a's and b's in between to reach the leftmost symbol and as soon as the q7 reaches to the blank symbol q7 will become aware that it has came one step further so it takes a right move and changes its state to q0 got it we have the similar transitions from the state q2 let's see from state q2 instead of blank symbol if it reads at least one symbol which can be either a or b it means we have to continue the iteration and reach to the last symbol delete it if it matches to the first symbol that is b there is the responsibility to reach to the last symbol is assigned to the state q4 so q4 will skip all a's and b's in between move towards the right without changing the state and as soon as q4 reaches the blank symbol q4 will become aware that it has came one step further so it takes a left move and changes its state to q6 q6 will delete the last symbol only when the last symbol is b that is when it matches with the first symbol so state q6 on reading b will replace it with the blank symbol and takes a left move and changes its state to q7 the responsibility of q7 we have already discussed okay now let us see the seven tuples for this turing machine to accept palindromes over a b we have nine states from state q0 to q8 a and b are input alphabet a b and blank symbol are tape symbols delta is a transition function which we have already discussed through transition diagram q0 is a starting state capital b is a blank symbol and in the set of final states we are having state q8 so that's all in this lecture if you like the video do subscribe my channel grido wit and if you have any doubts you can type in comments i will be happy to clear your doubts thanks for watching the video